Hello everybody, this is me Sam here on Torrent Group Gaming and today we're going to be showing you the Slime Fun plugin full bucket by Mr. Cookie Slime and Jarrett78. So Dan, what does this plugin do? Well, Slime Fun is a plugin which adds a couple of new fun admin and VIP items to the game. So have fun! Well, that's the tagline, <laughs> so hopefully we'll have fun. We can't get out this bloody door. Just, just there we are. I feel bad hitting okay. the Oh no, they're on a do! They're on a run, they're on a run. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so should we just come on with yeah, the plugin? Okay. Okay, so the main command is slash s f, s f, and that will tell you all the uh, things. So what we want to do first of all is s f guide, and it will give you the slime fun guide. So uh, it will give you this little uh, the little enchanted book. Enchanted book. If we right click that, we get some information uh, about what we can do. So on the right we have crystals and gems. It just tells you a bit about the currency. So the slime gem is the currency, and then you get that for completing quests. Um, but on, we're interested in the basic tinkering to start off with. So we hit the uh, the feather, we get two things, so the ink of knowledge and the book binder. And that just tells you how to make the ink of knowledge. So you just need a shapeless recipe where you just have diamond, ender pearls, and ink sack, and then you can make 16 ink, ink of knowledge. And then the book binder, you just place this down on the ground, uh, a bookshelf, a crafting table, and a bookshelf. So. We'll just do those two things quickly first. So uh, we need two big shelves, a craft bench. So let's just make the uh, the book binder first. You just need to place two book shelves like that, and then the uh, craft bench in the middle, and right click. Oh. That's oh, the that's book awesome. binder. So this will sort of generate and research items for you to make. Now, in order to do this, we need three things: the uh, one paper, one feather, and one income knowledge. So let's just make an income knowledge. Let's just show you that. That, that was uh, Ender Pearls, Diamonds, and Ink Sacks, right? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to make some myself. You can spawn these in uh, with SF items, but we'll just show you how to make them. Uh, just because. Just get like 64 diamonds, we never have to search for them again. <laughs> yeah. So you just put them in there, and then you get loads of Ink Sacks. Oh, I've got literally hundreds now. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, and we'll get some paper as well. 2,000 will do. Okay, so oh, now we've got, I've got uh, like five million as well. So it's, it's five million. <laughs> it's all right. So now we uh, we actually just click here to unlock the items, and uh, what am I missing? I'm missing something. Oh, a oh feather. bloody feathers! I forgot about those. So well, I need to find some room. Should go kill some zombies to get some feathers. Yeah. The eye feather. Need, need some paper as well. So. Yeah. So then we hit that. And we learn things. So it says I learn walking sticks. I like walking sticks as well. I, I'm not sure if it, I think it's like a set. Do you get thing. portable so now, crafter after that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you sort of like you go through the levels and you can learn things. So we can just spam. Yeah, this that's what I've been doing. <laughs> I'm learning everything. Just, um, I'm, so we learn everything. Yeah, everything. Start just to show you. And there we go. So we learned everything we know, and that's how you learn stuff. So in game, obviously, if you're playing on a survival server, we can't spawn items. That would take some time. Mm. And there is some sort of a uh, progression as well. So you start off with basic things like walking sticks, and then obviously the last thing is an uber upgrade cores and uber armor and stuff like that. Okay, so let's go over a few of these items. There are a ton of items, um, but let's just go over a couple of them mm -hmm. just to show you. Oh yeah, just a few of them. So that's how you learn the items. So if we hit open the guide again, you should see hopefully uh, more things in it. Oh yeah, oh, also like it. the. Uh golden sword for weapons. Yeah. Oh, so there's like should we show the walking stick first? Yeah. Because that was the first thing we yeah. might as well. So you can see now the slime from guide, it tells you like grandpa's walking stick, which has knock back basically. <laughs> um, and looting. And then you've got sword of beheading and a nab and then a saber. So just click the say grandma's walking stick. It tells you how to uh, do it. So we put three logs in the column. You're gonna have to use a proper crafting table I think. Oh right. So I'm just going to my inventory. Oh yeah, I've got it, right. Do you want to uh, change into a different game mode so I can knock you out? Um, sure. I, I'll just show them how to make it. So just three logs, there you go. Uh, GM0, so knock me back. <laughs> well, that's quite That's pretty good. Right, let, me, let me put mine to zero as well. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I went further than you did. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the uh, sort of first item you get. So you get basic things to start off with. And obviously we progress. So let's uh, choose another thing. What else should we um, choose? 
Yeah, I picked the last one, so uh, you pick one. Uh, portable utilities. Well, we got portable crafter. So uh, this is how you make it. You just literally have a book and a crafting table. Oh, okay. I'll just get a book in. I right, crafting table. Let me just put that. We could put it in our personal portable inventory. Crafter. And then it will just give you a book. If you right click. Oh, the problem is we've got chess commands installed. Ah, see. Continue so normally commands. that will give you a, a free by free crafting table. You can kind of see it quickly change. Um, oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it, that normally give you free. If you're quick free, enough, you yeah. could craft something very quickly. Yeah, but you, you, have, you <laughs> have to be lightning fast. Lightning fast. Yeah. Okay, should we choose something else. Uh, let's go for magic utilities. That sounds cool. Magic utilities. We got the magic eye vendor. Oh, Tome of Homeland, right click to teleport to your band. Minus compass. Oh, that's, uh, minus compass sounds awesome. Oh, that sounds pretty cool, yeah. Right, so, so you, we need. You have to make that, and I will make. Steel ingots and magical lump, which I guess is just a golden nugget. Oh, I'm going to make a um, mysterious enchanter. So, emerald blocks, diamond blocks, court stairs. I'm not going to be able to remember that. <laughs> yeah, I need to get the golden nuggets. Enchanting table, quartz, stairs, and there's something else. I think it was a bookcase. I hope it was a bookcase. And then we build it. So some of them you actually have to build like manually in the world, like this one I'm doing here, and sometimes you craft them. So, I've done that wrong. Bookshop goes in the middle. And there we go. And I think if you right click, the enchantment table on top. Uh, let me do that, maybe. Let's just have a look, make sure I'm crafting it right. Yep, that's right. Maybe, I don't know if that has any effect. It shouldn't have any effect, technically. So if I give myself XP. Sword, I realise the, the mining object I pick takes ages to make. Why? Because you need to make different tiers, so there's three tiers. And right. um yeah, I'm just making all the tiers now, it's gonna take ages. Oh I see. That's okay, it's okay. We just need to show that there's the fact that there's different sort of crafting things. Yeah. One is this um where you build it. The other one is um where you make it like you're doing there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like with the uh, like the crafting table, there is like sort of portable uh, enchanting things, portable dustbin where you can chuck stuff in. There's an ender backpack as well. Uh, I want to see ender backpack. Do you? Um, well, you know your ender chest. It basically opens that for you. Oh, nice. Which is quite handy. Uh, so yeah. I need more gold nuggets. This thing is taking ages. Is this it? would take so long to make in a survival server. Well, it must be very good then. Oh, yeah. I'll probably only get it to work. Yeah. Alright, there we are. Right. I'm not sure this, this this thing is working. I mean, I've done it wrong, but we'll just ignore that. <laughs> Let's do something else. <laughs> <laughs> um, what should we choose? Oh, the grappling hook's fun. So, I should just use a steel thruster. So, just looking it up now. So, some of these things like the steel thruster here, you need to make in order to make like a jetpack. So these things here, like the hook and the chain, um, and the nano focus, for instance, these are all. Well, these are all materials in order to make other things. So, well, not food, like armor here, we've got all this glowstone stuff, and if we go to say the nano suit, you need nano focus and obsidian. So this materials thing, you need to make this nano focus first, which obviously like requires eye vendors, a nether star, and all these things here. Um, so it's very difficult to make, obviously. Um, we've got electric work here, so these circuit boards here. So you've got a simple circuit board, which is literally, uh, you get them dropped from iron golems. 
and you've also got advanced circuit board where you can actually make yourself but it requires a simple circuit board um, in order to do and these just allow you to make quantum armor so these are going to like uh, quantum similar armor. To material sounds awesome yeah so you go to armor you, yeah, you have um, the sort of levels of glowstone which is a uh, dry got to dry it. it's died <laughs> unbreaking protection then you've got ender which has more sort of enchantments to it uh, then slime as well and you've got the nano um, which is pretty good and then quantum boots which obviously have a lot they're level 100 so you can see here like protecting protection unbreaking respiration and then finally we have uber as well which has level 500 in pretty much everything plus you can upgrade it uh, fully like others using up uber upgrade cores and you can see here these are all the uh, upgrade things you can have so let's choose checkback for instance and using money um, so trading with a blacksmith and or using quite a lot of gems you can craft a uh, cool so yeah well, there's so much well, stuff in this you can make it's uh, yeah it's there's tons in there uh, the, for instance, tools, you've got nano things, which obviously are uh, very efficient tools you can use. Uh, the portable duty is, like we said, end of backpack, portable book binder. So this thing here, that this binder we made on the floor, we can actually make that portable, which is quite handy. Uh, lumps and lumps and magic lumps. <laughs> the magical lumps. I'm not actually sure what the magical lumps are. I didn't remember reading about them. Oh, uh, yeah, the you make different tiers, and I think they craft into different things. You needed loads of the... Uh... Magical lumps to make the uh, compass. I see. Yeah. So they're like a sort of material. So sometimes you need stuff to like. I see in the middle here, magical lump. Yeah. Tier three. Oh, and then you need four yeah, of those yeah. tier one. And then you need you need for so many like different types of tier upgrades. It took absolutely ages. Yeah, I bet. Also, there's quite a cool thing. The gear. So you've got jetpack here, sneak to use, uh, grappling hook, and parachute. I'm just gonna go to SF items, just so we can actually spawn some of these in. So this is slap on the cheek. <laughs> the little, uh, little surprise face. Yeah, I'm just going to steal <laughs> some of the cool items just to show them off. So the multi-tool as well. Uh, be quite cool. So the multi-tool here. Oops. So it says right click to use, sneak and right click to change mode. So we can see here, magic eye of ender, portable crafter. So let's change it to portable crafter. And we right click, we get a crafting table. Uh, arrow cannon, we can right click. So it's basically like a multi tool. Um, it's probably very expensive to craft as well. If you've got a nano uh, hoe there. Well, I'm trying to make it work. I think it's just with enchantments, really. There you go, end of backpack. I made a mess of this area now. <laughs> a wrench, so you can do some. A grappling hook, so this is actually included. We might as well just use a grappling hook. <laughs> you just right. Whoa! Where did you go? Sort of, oh, you're down there. I'm trying to get them at the top of the house. Oh, that's pretty cool, graphic there, actually. I've seen other plugins with graphic we've done before, and this is pretty, it's got like a string and everything. But well, one's the uh, grappling hook under, is it under tools? Uh, it's under, like, a, a grey shirt. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Let's try this grappling hook out. Oh, okay, yeah, this is probably one of the best grappling hooks I've seen. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Where, where are you? I want to see so I can... Record it. <laughs> Whoa, you just went flying. Yeah. Oh, you got some cool. sweet armor on there. Yeah, this is a uh, jetpack. <laughs> so it's just sneak to use. You fly up in the air. What? This is so cool. Wow. I'm going to have to get. Oh, you can go absolutely ages with the grab. Yeah, I, I don't think it requires any fuel. So. Oh, I'm going to have to get one of those. I imagine it's very expensive to um, craft. Ooh, there we go. And swish. It gives you like a little effect when you land as well. Maybe that's. So how do you there. ascend? <laughs> huh? How do you ascend? Ascend, just hold shift. Oh, look at this. This is great. And you can use, your, you use a grappling hook whilst you're on your jetpack. Ah, well, I've been kicked because flying isn't enabled on my server. <laughs> so, always keep that in mind. <laughs> May want to. I'm going to try the uh, parachute as well. Oh, yeah. Well, do. Yeah, the parachute would be good. Either. Oh, it doesn't help very well in it. Oh, I see. It does actually have some sort of use because it has like uh, durability. Right, I'm going to go up really high. I'm going to switch. Uh... 
I'm going to join you. Where are you? Oh, I keep getting kicked. Right, above the cloud. <laughs> right. So I'm going to quickly change. And there we go. So you hold shift and it sort of slows you down when you're falling. This is really cool. Can't believe it really that didn't find so this cool. sooner. So cool. I want to try it. Let's just see the foods. So just slow fun food. I want to see the fuel fortune cookie. Ah, I might as well cheat. <laughs> FF items. Oh, the fortune food. cookie. Okay, yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's eat this. Well, I'm not hungry. I'm going to run around for a bit. I have to run around a bit. What's that? Food. Okay, now I can eat it. You can run around a bit. Wait. Yeah, drop your hunger a bit. Let's see. What does yours say? Uh, it didn't, so I had an empty fortune cookie. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's very uh, convenient. Maybe my fortune isn't very good. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's a lot of it. Let's eat this. Let's check out our fire mode. Oh, Miles at me too. I guess there are some bugs with it, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's go over the last few commands. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, SF gives you them. You can do SF team, and that will show you what team you're on. So you can choose uh, so the sort of two team. Well, well, not, what am I on about? I'm, I'm... This is the team that <laughs> developed it. I was going to say. I was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got Murray one. Oh, look, you Cookie can place Slam. their heads. Oh, that's awesome. You can place their heads. Yeah, right. I placed oh, Mr. Wow. Cookie Slam. Oh, there you go. So there, there's, there's his head. Uh, <laughs> you got milk. Which uh, is the same thing as drinking milk. Um, we've also got this cool thing, uh, FF kill NPC. Oh, don't do it to this guy. No, we actually have to create one. Oh, right. So if we do SF villages, it will show you the villagers type. So Lost Merchant, Quest Villager, and Lost Backman. So let's just get all three of those. I'll change the game mode, game mode 1. So what's this one? The Lost Merchant. What's this one? This is the uh, the blacksmith. Oh, I see. It says above his head. Maybe I'll look <laughs> up a bit. And I think these will stay uh, still. We're missing one. There we go. There's too many villagers uh, now. Yeah. So now we right click them. Oh, I, I'm in still in remove mode. Okay. Now we right click one. This is where you can buy all the uh, Uber cord, Uber things, uh, as we explained earlier. So you have this Uber armor. You can upgrade it with these Uber cores. Which you have to buy from these guys at the Lost Blacksmith here, and that costs a thing. In order to get this uh, slime money, you need to go to the quest villager. So he says, Ouch, I'm so hungry, eight breads would uh, do stuff. So uh, I do eight buy bread, and I give it to him. Oh no, somebody's stolen my gold treasure. Can I have a golden sword from you to kill these robbers? Yeah, so he would just give you a random sort of thing to. Um, Oh, I got some slime Just money. Slime gems. Basically, okay. flat, uh, yeah. So you get the money. So I've got two slime gems. What have you got? I've got one slime gem. One slime gem. And then uh, you have the uh, lost packs. We have to buy stuff. Also, there's a lost merchant as well. You can just buy these things outright without having to craft. Oh, I don't have enough money. Certain, certain things. So I th I do believe these don't spawn um, in game. So you will have to do SF villages mm. in order to get the. Uh, the eggs to spawn them. Uh, I do believe they don't move unless you push them. <laughs> you push them so, everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, you can, like I did before, you can do SF kill NPC, and then you can just right click to remove him. Mm. Um, and obviously, you have SF reload to reload config. Items is cheat. Guy gives you the book. Um, SF research. This is what we did before. I'm stuck in this house. With this uh, oh, wait, no, no. research table here, the book binder, uh, we can do research the player. So, this is it when we want to do it um, individually. So, research all, and it will just teach me everything there is to do with slide fun and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I want to try. So There's so much to this plugin, you could be here for, for ages yeah. just going through all of it. It's great. Yeah, it's, I think we've gone over like a few things, but obviously it's good to find out by yourself. See it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I might just go over the after this tutorial and see what else. I, I'm gonna get some um, get some golden apples. Okay. See what they do. Did they do anything? No, they instantly recovered all my hunger, so that was good. 
Actually, I think that's just what they do. It's yeah, just very good well. food resources. Okay. Um, anything else for to add? No, it's a really good plugin. I enjoy it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, well, it, with a name like oh. Slime Fun, it should be. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's good. Okay. I like it. Yeah, so. Okay, so thanks for watching. This has been me, Sam here, and Tom from Roof Gaming. Signing See you out. later, guys. 20 minutes. <laughs>